everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's what I call performance and future collector car video. And you say, Tone, first off, how could you possibly know uh, what the future predicts? And I'd say you're absolutely right. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm talking about here with this car. This is a car, right. Uh, what I do know is this, is that many of us missed out on some of the collector car bubbles along the way. Hear me out for a second. 68 GT500. KR versions, Boss 302s, Mach 1s, later Grand Nationals, GNXs, like all of those things. This run of GT500s right here, these are the last of the Shelby built cars until Ford took over production later on, right? Why I'm bringing this up? Don't know the future, but in my mind, I say, okay, if Carroll Shelby had a hand in this, this is low mileage. It makes over 500 horsepower and it's supercharged and it has a six speed manual transmission. It is destined, destined to be a future collector car. That's what I mean when I say that. So when you talk about these unmolested cars that are just very, very original, this one, of course, because the wheels and tires, but could easily be put back if you don't like that. But these are Shelby wheels, so it's accepted, right? This would have come on the KR version uh, that Shelby sh sold, uh, the GT500 KR. So it looks really nice on the car. I don't know if you like them or not. I think they look great. Your call, we can always change it. Anyway, back to my original statement. My original statement was that this right here, based on all of the things and the factors that I just mentioned is a potential future collectible car. All right, so how do we know for sure that this is original paint? Well, you know what? I didn't taste it. I didn't paint it. I didn't own it since new. Uh, I know a lot about it, but I can't verify for sure, but I know who can, and this is who can. This is an electronic paint meter, and what it does is it's able to tell you the millionth of an inch thick that a paint job is. So for instance, like a body shop paints a car, they do a nice job color matching and things like that, but they don't really care how thick the paint is. But we know from the factory that the factory painted these cars like in a hospital-like environment, right? And so uh, this will measure that. And as long as we're in the two to 300 millions of an inch thick variance between all the panels as it's going down the paint line, right? We know that, uh, that we have original paint. And so I weedered this car and all the panels, right, are in between uh, seven and 8.5, right? Okay, as we walk around the car, the other side the same exact way, and you can clearly see that uh, as you paint go around the car, obviously when they're painting the car, some panels have more paint as the paint falls and things like that. So anyway, we know that we have original paint on this car, which adds to the collector car portion of what I'm talking about, right? Low mileage, original paint, original kind of style car, right? Hasn't been in an accident, hasn't had panels replaced, hasn't done all those things. Next, we wanna see the quality of the paint, okay? So why don't we walk over here and let's check out what tungsten steel looks like under the bright lights here. And look, this is a really nice factory paint job, okay? You can clearly see all the letters. You can see the writing in there. All right, and lastly, it's been clear coated and you can feel how beautiful all of this is, all right? All right, so anyway, enough with the paint, but this is an important piece of the collectability of these cars and it being a future collectible. Many of our clients who buy here, they don't really care what's under the hood. They just like to drive cars. They like to look at them. Totally get that. Agreed. I'm with you on all of that. However, if you do want to go to a Cars and Coffee or a car show or something like that, I want to show you what you're getting and a little explanation of what's under the hood here. All right. So uh, we'll take a peek here for just a moment if we could. All right. My good friend Rich Budman told me that this is the Condor 5.4 liter V8, supercharged, right? So these are hand built on the Romeo line. On top of it, what I love so much about this is it's signed by the engine builders here, right? Right on the valve cover there. Why is it important to see decals and stickers under here? Because there are decals and stickers under here that you can't purchase, right? They came on the car brand new, meaning that this, these are panels on the car are original as well. For instance, this sticker right here, uh, many of the other decals that are around, uh, you couldn't purchase extra. We know that those are original. This has a couple small performance upgrades on it that are easily uh, rectified to go back to stock if you wanted to. One of them is a cold air intake right here. That's a nice performance piece that you get. This one has a small upgrade a pulley on it um, for just a little bit more power. Easy to take back to stock if you wanted to. No one would ever notice it. I think it looks great and it makes for great drivability and just super clean under here. Forget all of everything that I said. The fact of the matter is it is spotless under here. Somebody has done a good job and if you went to a car show, you'd be proud to leave your hood open and show people exactly what you brought.
All right, so I want to take a peek here, but I want to say stay here for just a moment because this is very Mustang 60s vintage taillight look, right? Great block letters of the Shelby callout, GT500 here. Most people, uh, if you were to remove this badge, would know exactly what this car is. Front and rear spoilers, big exhaust system, right? But what I really loved about this car is when I opened the trunk, and you're gonna say this is ridiculous tone, I don't know why, but I wanna tell you why. In it was a whole nother set of floor mats that sat on top of the original floor mats. That to me says that somebody definitely, definitely cared about this car. On top of the fact, uh, the trunk, I can't, I can't see a place where anything's ever even been in here. This has the upgraded audio with the dual subwoofers back here. Uh, in case you decide to get in the back of the trunk, it always has a nice release. I don't know who's ever, well, I guess we could all fit in the back of the trunk. It's a party, man. It's a party. <laughs> anyway, uh, those are signs to me that says that somebody loved this car. The small, tasteful upgrades on the car, these double floor mats, just little stuff like that are cues that this wasn't a drag car or a kid's car or something that had some Somebody really cared for uh, for this. All right, so you're walking up to this beautiful car here, and you say, wow, man, that's a great car. Oh, yeah, that's my car, right? However, you're not always going to be on the outside walking in. You're going to spend a lot of time inside the car, and I like to spend some time in here because this will give you an indication of the rest of the car, how someone took care of the inside, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So come on in here. Join me for a second, right? First off, we have some comfort, which is really nice. We have power seats, right? And for people that are 6'1", like myself, there's a lot of room in here. We got power seats, we got lumbar, we got the Shaker 1000 audio system, not the 500, the 1000, okay? More importantly, look at the inside. It doesn't look like anybody's actually ever even sat in here. The original floor mats are in here because they were covered with another set of floor mats. Climate control, six speed, 7,000 RPM tack, 160 mile an hour speedometer. I've been told that they'll do 160. I don't know that to be the case, but that's the word on the street. GT500 call outs all inside here, letting you know that this is just a different, different car. Not to mention it's a livable car, right? It's got power windows and it's got cruise control and it's got tilt wheel and it's got the killer audio system and climate control. Like this is a car you can drive someplace. You could go to the beach in this car if you wanted to, or you could just take it out for a cruise. You could go to work on a Friday. Call whoever it is that you're on the way home. Hey, how you doing? I'll see you in a little bit. And then shut off the phone, man. Get rid of your Twitter feed, your boss feed, the social media, all that stuff. Put that stuff in the glove box. Put on some music and get some therapy. All right, so I want to close up this video, run through some of the bullets we talked about, collectability. I keep saying collectability, collectability, only because when you've been doing this almost 25 years just in the collector car business, you've seen cars come and go that were really just cars at the time. They were just cars. And uh, eventually they became supercars. And this is potentially that same kind of car. Why? Low mileage, low production, right? Great color combination, original paint, loaded with things, Brembo brakes, uh, air conditioning, power seat, uh, the upgraded audio system, like loaded to the gills with all of the features. I, I keep harping on the two sets of floor mats. It just says to me, I see, look at these cars all the time, man, and there's clues that always say uh, some cars are nicer than others. That's one of those clues. We were inside the car. It was like brand new in there. It's on the showroom floor here amongst other supermodels, and it is really, really, really a nice car. Not to mention, it is ridiculously fast and sounds good, too, throwing all that out there as well. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. Tell you all about this Shelby first year Shelby GT500. Uh, don't forget to hit the uh, like button down below there. That helps get our message out. I always appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They may like it as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.